Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylands with me. Now off camera, there was a massive tsunami, so um, I reloaded this save, because I didn't want to see that thing. Legend Buck will now go unsubscribe and go run away forever and ever. But that got me thinking we probably actually need a massive flood wall around um, here. And this idea was suggested by Hellbuns. So if you don't like it, go talk to Hellbuns. It's the one point where the tsunami can take over. But I'd also like to create a bit of a floodplain. So if the tsunami does decide that it wants to come in, there's a bit of a floodplain for it to kind of filter out on that one side. I mean, this side it's already pretty tall, but this helps. Just over there, just a bit of a floodplain. Not much. I mean, it's fine. And I think in the low bits, I could even double it, but I, d I don't think I'm going to. Okay, and then we're gonna get the town of Lakedale. Which will be significant because, um... If you guys actually watched that one live stream that I made the other day, and um, you'll kind of know what Lake Dale's about. That's not symmetrical on both sides, but that's fine. Who cares about symmetry anyway? I mean, that looks really ugly. But I'll do real quick is actually grab the disaster memorial. Move that guy right on over to here. So then we'll get like the statue of industry or something over here. It's obviously not quite as interesting, but it's still an interesting thing nonetheless and a tourist trap kind of thing. Get a little bit of uh, commercial out that way. Gonna get the rest to be residential. Gives that road some more purpose. Garland Square will be Lakedale. Gonna get power to come over here. Can you get this side to be the main service kind of side, you know? Look at a crematorium right there. 
How the hell is that not connected by power? It's right freaking there. Okay, the edge accommodation stations you get the elementary school in kind of a much more centralized location. High school can just go wherever, really. I can go right there. Okay, Le Doge Park over here as well. Even like Le Tropical Park. Le Parc de Tropical actually would rather be a thing. And then that thing. <laughs> That's the town of Lakedale. Actually, screw Le Doge Park. We'll just move Le Doge Park just down the road. these actually to come out this way and then have like at least one stop probably two there Now I'm going to get that in there. Actually... I mean, we might as well just tunnel right underneath Mexico. I just like anarchy in tunnels. Just because, I mean, you can't see them, so, I mean, there's nothing that... That's the kind of, you know, if you know what I'm saying. You probably don't. Probably sound like a complete retard to you right now. <sighs> Screw it, it's close enough. Is it keep it on the ground? I mean, sure, we'll make it be this one. I mean, that'll just go out there and have its own little connection out there, just cause. We might as well, cause... 
Well, you just might as well. Hey, look at that, that's even part of the district and everything. Uh, not a bus line, a train line. A little train line. Oh my god. There's two stops, and then whichever freaking train lines over here. There we go. Right, it's Prince of Light trains. We'll get like six. I mean, obviously, the main station here will be this one. So we'll actually turn it on, you know? We'll piss these people off somehow, even though these are, I don't know, commercial, so it should make them extremely happy. Makes everybody else around it happy. I don't get it. How? commercial out of everybody that's really close by pissed off everybody else jumping with joy Yep, right there. It's gonna get that going like that. Outside bits will be offices, the inside bits will definitely be residential. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Actually, we won't connect those up. I mean, you wouldn't really see a traffic park over here, would you now? But right there would not be a bad spot, just because it's underneath the highway and kind of tucked away over there, you know? I mean, a luxury hotel wouldn't be an, would also be another thing that you wouldn't necessarily see down this way, but I mean, it could work just right there. Or even just kind of like right here somewhere. It 
could it actually fit in, like, this way? No, absolutely not. Just want to get a little bit of zoning on that little road. If you're not going to get it quite on the corner of that. <clears throat> A yeah, posh mall would be another great addition to this district. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh yeah, of course we're gonna get this baby in here somewhere as well. Grand Mall is also for uh, tourists. Now most of the kind of, you know, interior actually this time of this district Well, just kind of Those parts really Will be, um Offices Over here, that'll all be residential Nope, that won't be residential. That'll actually be commercial up there. This little spot, absolutely commercial. That little bit of the offices. And actually, that entire section right there will be commercial, but the rest will be residential. And this episode, we've already, we're already 17 minutes in, but I'm, I'm kind of planning to get, like this entire lower portion of the city done but another thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do right now so I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna go ahead and get that district in there uh, what this is is the airport district is probably going to be just around here it'll probably be quite weird terminals will probably be around over here somewhere and the trains will more than likely be moved terminals will be over there and it'll be a very narrow spot planes to move in and out of and the runway will be actually right there right even <coughs> I'll just run me right there could also be possible you gotta keep in mind that I have to fit in an entrance exit kind of thing as well the lungs of the city I mean yeah you gotta have that Thing is important. Helicopter park can actually fit into one of these little blocks here. What is this? An office? Office tower. It's an office, so I'll actually just get it right there. I can actually get more than one of those. And the Sheridian Tower. 
Oh god, it fits perfectly into one of those blocks. Screw it, this will be an all office district. Except for that spot. Oh yeah, this will be residential. The rest will be all offices. Nice Tropicana Fruit Punch Hotel. Not gonna get that over here. It's 25 people, I mean 110 people got off, so it's not that bad. And eventually that thing will get used a lot more. I mean, I'll get a tr I'll get an executive hotel kind of thing in that way. This building's always been my favourite. I'll actually get it just right there, I mean. It could give a sense of depth, depth to the city. I'll get an oppression office right there. Kind of in the middle of the city, if you know what I mean. The pyramid of safety. I mean, the opera house could even go kind of in to these quarters. I'll get it right there. Floating freaking gardens. If only that could have fit underneath the <clears throat> Actually that isn't that bad of a spot. I mean it needs roads, but not as if that was wasn't close enough. What the hell even is that? That we won't get around here. Not, neither will we get the um, the observatory. Or the aquarium is, I want, is what I wanted over here as well. That's correct. I'll just get to a default position and put it on the edge. This thing I want kind of down this way near the airport. The L Street building. I wouldn't mind getting over here somewhere and that isn't a bad spot blends into the sky okay this is an office tower it can definitely well I mean what if I get it like it was perfect in that one spot right there and that building is incredibly tall so yeah this is kinda like a second downtown district just kinda down this way massive Tokyo style buildings over here and everything and this guy could it's only a buy what is it a buy two or a buy three so it's a buy three then it can yeah I think it's a buy two let's see if it can actually fit right there I mean I would say it could so it could fit right there The stadium will be done this way as well, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the skyline kind of ends down this way, kind of. I mean, the skyline is quite interesting at this point. One World Trade Center is actually the tallest building. The main downtown area is right here. There's some tall buildings over here, obviously, and uh, over here as well a little bit. It kind of just looks like it starts up again with some more offices and stuff. 
And over here with the, those tall buildings, obviously, and this this one, that one, that one, that one. These two right here really add some depth per depth perception. So, I mean, kind of right next to each other. I mean, this one does too. I mean, it's really, really thin and everything. You can fit quite well in that little block. I mean, it's, it's an excellent addition. Really like it that. I think it was like that spot was built for that building and whatnot. We got shelters around that place. Don't got shelters. Excuse me, you don't got shelters down that way. Or any over here. Uh, right now, I believe you have one. <laughs> kind of like one more than what we'd have. Oh my god, we lost another match, didn't we? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh, come on now. We're at 84 for one band. Isn't Lester? It's actually Lily LaRue. Okay, we got a sold out concert even at everything. So, what am I gonna do with these two train lines? I don't actually know. I'm probably gonna just get train lines that go from South Korea up to Japan. Just South Korea to Japan lines. Look over that and over that. Uh, express. Almost express right up to Japan. Actually, no. I decided to do this off camera, but then I decided because it was just testing in the tsunami game. So I mean, that'll be Japan. This will be the China industrial area. And that, that won't be Oriental Heights. That'll be China. We've got China and Japan over there. So I mean, this will be the airport. I don't think I'll start like you know planning it out, so to speak. But I mean, I'm just telling you where it'll go and stuff. Well, this lower section, I just want it to kind of be commercial. I mean... I guess technically speaking, it does technically add... Commute times and everything. <coughs> what I kind of want to do in this episode is actually work on this kind of area. I actually know. I might do that next episode, I just want to kind of fine-tune this area and stuff. All that will come down more and stuff, even. And that intersection will be kind of the turn and stuffs. Oh, yeah, one more thing I need to do in Mulberry Square. So actually get a city planning thing. You have high rise ban. I and mean, this will be a little bit shorter, it'll probably be about thirty five minutes or something like that. That part isn't actually part of the city. I mean I'll make the lungs of the city be part of the city, but everything else can stay as it is. Okay, that could definitely be residential. It's just kind of... 
Okay. Tucked in there. I mean, everything on this side of the St. Thomas River, which is really, really short and just comes out of these sewage things, if you remember the last episode. So, I mean, anything from the St. Thomas River. <laughs> I mean, anything on this side will be kind of like. Not quite the same as the other side of the St. Thomas River. I'm not necessarily saying, well, actually, well, I'm just going to say it right now. The other side of the St. Thomas River is better. This side, absolutely a better part of America to live in. But if you're on this side of the St. Thomas River, it's not the hood. It's not that bad. But it isn't exactly the same kind of America. It's kind of like a hood, but not quite. This view connections, there's only going to be two bridges across the St. Thomas River. Maybe a third one right there, but chances are there's only going to be two. And, I mean, it's a pretty hefty section. I was going to say, you're immediately going to see a difference in quality from side to side. I won't have that road, it'll just be kind of a guiding road. Or this middle kind of straight road that I got right now. I mean, then that's just basically what it is. It looks like a DNA friggin' molecule or something. <coughs> this side at least will definitely be, um... residential I don't think I'm gonna actually get offices in this area because it's supposed to be for the poor people and there'll still be metros and stuff I'll definitely get commercial down this way on this road on that side of the road
I'm amazed that this area actually has amazing fire coverage. And crematorium coverage is actually not bad either. Hospital coverage is really good. Police coverage is also really good. It's up there. And that's the closest one, just right up there. Educommodations isn't that great. Dudes get a middle school, oh, high school, elementary school. So what if we get something like a theater of wonders down this way? Kind of in a poorer neighborhood to try and up the people's morale that live here. Oh, you wouldn't have an Avalon Hotel here, would you? A Ziggurat Garden. You would not have a Ziggurat Garden over here, would you? An office park. Definitely in an office district. That's where you'd find one. Hey, screw logic. God damn it, we still have like three of these. Burn and Beehaven. Okay, that can just be put like right there. And then a meteorite park. Sure. Doomsday Vault. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll get it down this way. This thing is freaking massive. I'm gonna get it in freaking Lakedale because Lakedale needs stuff. Everybody in Lakedale will be unhappy. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna end the episode there, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one and goodbye.